What? There's always that gap in the beginning for some reason. Weird. So, man, <laughs> they just this dropped this instantly. This was very unexpected. I'm happy that they're that. Oh, shit. Uh, speakers. Oh, that's what was weird. <laughs> we haven't done this in a while. I'm happy that they're. I'm very. Like, I was not expecting that. So, they took people who were working. On yeah, Prime yeah 4 right? And they, said, oh, make that's this. so cool. Wow. Colorblind options. I'm red green deficient. Like you're fucking brain deficient. <laughs> uh, there's no option to go. Because the thing is, like, you don't really need to. What? 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 <laughs> What? what? What is this? <laughs> I have to turn that on just because I have no idea what the fuck it is. You gotta figure it out. I have no idea what that is. Okay, here's what's cool. Pointer? What? Yo! Oh, this is so much more than I thought. <laughs> it's so much less than I deserve. That's so... That's so cool. Honestly, that's more than I expected. Yeah. Because they said, like... You can go back and forth between the plastic. I was not expecting motion controls. And I don't even know what hybrid could possibly mean. <laughs> oh, you know why? Because the annoying thing about the Wii version was you'd literally have to point the Wii mode around in order to fucking turn. Oh, uh, yeah. So this must be like, you can turn with the stick and the Wii mode's just for aiming. I'm going to use the new option, though. Because, uh, like... Metroid Prime doesn't need touching up. Like, that is one of the most yeah. incredible looking games on the GameCube, bar none. Yeah. Like, that game looks in fucking incredible. But, like, they completely <laughs> redid it. This is not some AI yeah. learning, like, touch up. This is, yeah. like, handmade, brand new. Like, that's a new asset. It's almost this, offensive. This like. looks nothing like the original Metroid Prime ship. Gunship. And, and like, so often nowadays, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what it looked like. Yeah. Like, so often Three nowadays, the, the, like, they'll do this, but it'll be super lazy. Yeah. Thank you for liking my video on Bridget. I don't know why. Like, that... Head just keeps getting views. <laughs> that has not slowed down. <laughs> it's got legs. Every so often, I'll get a new comment on the Bridget video, and I'll be like, you're a stupid asshole. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> these are original. That's, that's, these are from the original yeah, it's a, like I said, it's almost offensive. Like, I hope you didn't pull people off of that <laughs> game you promised seven years ago to make this. <laughs> Yeah, like, win, win Metroid Prime 4. No, no Metroid Prime 4, but Metroid Prime Remake. Yeah, it's like... Well, okay, then. Task failed successfully. <laughs> like, I'm upset, but also happy. <laughs> yeah. Love this title theme, by the way. That's the worst part about the Wii version, is it doesn't have this fucking intro in it. Like, this horrifying fucking... <laughs> like biology main yeah. menu with like the best opening theme song I've ever heard. It's like the science book that's zoomed in on a picture of your cells or something. Cause like, uh, if you look at the 13 remaster, which is just the first one that comes to mind because it's so bad. Like they turn, <laughs> that is a cell shaded game yeah. and they turned it into Fortnite. Totally Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition. Yeah, Definitive Edition. That's also, like, why do you keep fucking this? But yeah. no. Not, like, Metroid Prime didn't need a remaster, really. But yeah. at least they actually bothered to at least they do it. it. It wasn't some machine learning, like, Fortnite bullshit. Yeah. This actually looks really good. It's the equivalent of that CalArts thing of, like, What is this narration going to be? What the fuck? Now say nuclear vessels. What is this narration? Okay. I just want to make sure. We have fucked it up royal in the past. Did they put... The cosmos. What? In the vast universe. The history of humanity is but a flash of light from a lone star. 
the life of a single person should be lost in space and time. But among the stars, there is one light that burns brighter than all others. Like, dude, this looks... Yeah, wow. This looks so good. This looks like they just made it. ...and etch themselves into history. Here, another chapter of that history. So, I thought it was going to be the Jen Hale narration. Hmm. Because there's cut content for this game where Jennifer Hale did voice acting as Samus Aran, where she's like, this is my mission, my zero mission, or whatever. My last escape. But no, this is not Jen Hale, so that's weird. If you look up Gen Jennifer Hale Metroid Prime, you'll see what I'm talking about. That was decidedly not Jennifer Hale. Yeah, like, the in the original game, it's very sleek and shiny and yeah. reflective. It's very GameCube. And I love how Metroid Prime looks on the GameCube. Yeah. But this... I can't believe how good this looks. Yeah, it's it's shocking. <laughs> like, this, when whenever they say, like, we're gonna graphically touch up a remaster now, yeah. you're like, ugh. Yeah, exactly. But this looks really good. The first reaction is like, ugh. It's gonna be that smoothed over Cal art shit. Exactly. It's just gonna look like plastistine. Yeah. They're Grand gonna point definitive edition. They're joint fingers at stuff. Oh, that feels sun. so weird! <laughs> Playing Metroid Prime with fucking dual stick controls. Dual shock, too. Yeah. And I thought it took me a long time to get used to that mod that added mouse look to the game. <laughs> okay, let's do a director's uh, cut. Dual shock. Test. TM. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. So that's gonna be weird for some people to get used to. Some people. That is not how the controls were on the original <laughs> game, I'll tell you that for free. They added that shit. The GameCube controller was so form-fitting. What? Oh my god, shoot and jump are on two different buttons. <laughs> Get his- Yes, <laughs> Oh, he lost him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I was like, what? This is so weird. <laughs> yeah, it, it literally looks remade. Yeah, like look they at, made it again. Look at that ball. Yeah. Look inside there. <laughs> what do, what does she have hidden See in there? See the samosarin. She's got it hidden. Yeah, this literally looks like a human being went in and redid every single yeah, texture. Exactly. It looks like they just made this game now. This looks brand spanking ass new. <laughs> Sorry. I can't stop. <laughs> Thought you were apologizing for the brand spanking ass. I'm, I will never apologize for spanking brand asses. <laughs> Hear that, Samus? Can I change my controls while playing? Ooh, look at that! Look at that bitch! Dude! Look at that lady. Oh, she's got the grapple hook on her. Yeah, this is insane! Yeah. Ha you know what? This isn't a win for Nintendo. This is a loss for everyone else. <laughs> it's like everyone the Mario else movie. is garbage. It's like the Mario movie. How the fuck is everyone else not doing this? <laughs> this shouldn't be significant. Yeah, exactly. The fact that this is significant is a total failure on everyone else's part. It's like when a cop helps somebody and it makes the headlines. It's like, <laughs> it's like that's their job. That like, shouldn't that be. shouldn't be a good... Oh. We shouldn't be like, oh, hey, look. They did a good job. Like, like what? That's not... Oh, I hate that. <coughs> Why is it always off? God damn it. Yeah, that's weird. You know, like, standardize it here. Okay. And the amount of sensitivity is different between both of them, so that's annoying as fuck. That's weird. Free lock on aiming. Oh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of options I'll in pick this. Pick up some euros. Space Greek food. Yeah, you know, that's an interesting option because this 
like that gameplay feature where the camera would reorient itself was entirely because of the GameCube not having two sticks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it did, but it didn't really. Yeah, they pretended. But now you can turn that off and Samus will only look in the direction you're pointing the stick in. They put so much thought into this. Yeah. Camera will automatically face downward when Samus jumps. Again, that was a compromise for how the game controlled on the original uh the original gamecube version yeah it's off by default but i wonder if it would be on by default if i was using the classic controls oh yeah because i'm so curious about all that now <laughs> i do not watch when he plays but i choose to take that as a compliment <laughs> Remember how polarizing the N64 controller was when it when it was announced? But it's polarizing now. Yeah, People that's still true. are mad. Yeah. Woo, this feels so weird. <laughs> I've played Metroid Prime 1 a lot. <laughs> Look at even the lighting effects are maintained. Look at that. Look at the gun. Yeah. Look at how the yeah, light wow. shifts and moves across the barrel. Yeah. Here's the real test, and I'm not going to be... Oh, actually, maybe I can. <gasps> Did you <laughs> see that? There she is! <laughs> Samus! Samusarin. That's, like, because the, the massive thing that this game did that always blew people's mind was the face right. showing up in her visor when, like, an explosion happened right in front of her. Or, like, the rain landing yeah. on the visor shit yeah. like that like that's the real that's the the real test those are the days the gamecube was good the gamecube kicks so much ass yeah it was like the perfect middle ground <laughs> i'm just kind of falling into autopilot while playing this <laughs> yeah look at this look at the hut of look at the visor yeah visuals even the the Wii the Wii version didn't have that because they couldn't figure out how to do it. <laughs> they had to they put had the to, spin dash back in. They had to scale back so much of the visuals of the Wii. Look yep. at that. They had to scale back so yeah. many visuals on the Wii version because with the motion controls they couldn't figure out how to do it. Yeah. They could not figure out how to have motion controls. Holy wow. Fuck. That's some good fire. That's some Resident Evil 4 fire get, right yeah. there. <laughs> you never get that right. It always just looks like water. Yeah, fire is the hardest thing to get right. God, fucking Metroid Prime is the best fucking game. I love <laughs> this game so much. Look at how much fucking storytelling is happening. Yeah. And I'm just skipping right over it because yeah, I've played this game 800 through. times. Yeah. I'm not even talking about what's happening. It's the signposts in Mario 64. Someone had to write those. Leslie Swan. Like, hey, buddy. Or I guess she translated them, but somebody, some Japanese guy wrote those. Like, I love the way this game opens. <laughs> this game has one of the best stories. Like, video game stories. Like, fuck Dark Souls. <laughs> Oh, here's a... Oh, well, because I'm using... Oh. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> There's my girl. It's slightly less pronounced, actually. I only know this because I've played Metroid Prime so fucking often. But, like... Well, maybe a different explosion effect will make it better, but yeah. it's 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 a little muted maybe compared bigger, to the original. Because the original explosion. was very reflective. It wasn't quite cell-shaded, but yeah. it had that, like, sheen. Yeah, it, it had yeah. that reflective sheen. Everything on the on. GameCube kind of had that. Like, you have this whole opening sequence where you're on the Space Pirates, like, ship. And, and like, they're all already dead. Like, this, this disaster that beset the Space Pirates already <laughs> happened before you showed up. And you're, like, slowly uncovering this, like this environmental storytelling mystery of okay well what the fuck's going on here and it all builds up through this intro up to 
Ridley just popping up right at the end. And he flies down to Talon 4 and someone's like, I'm gonna chase that motherfucker down. That fucker is dying tonight, she says about Ridley. <laughs> and it's all without dialogue, really. And it's all entirely... I mean, my... I guess technically this counts as dialogue, but... It's all without... It's all optional, because you can just not scan anything. Metro Prime kicks ass. I love this game. Metro Prime. Look, I... They really did the work. Yeah, like, goddamn. Look at the lighting on that gun. Look at it. Yeah. That's so crazy to me. Like, I still love the way the original Metroid Prime looks. That game is so good. That game is so good. <laughs> that game looks incredible. But I do admit, like, if you just ported the visuals of the GameCube over to the Switch, yeah. it probably wouldn't look as good. Yeah. You probably do have to do more than zero amount of work to make Metroid Prime look good on, like, a 4K TV, <laughs> theoretically. But, yeah, it's like playing an, an old game on a modern TV where you can see the edges. Yeah. They couldn't conceive of TVs that big back then. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Those games were designed on and for CRT televisions. Yeah. Like, they made the sprite art on a CRT monitor. <clears throat> that's what they had to work with. Yeah. It's it's not like uh, how like uh, Star Fox 64 has, like, the, the profile, like, the, the visual that pops up when they're talking, like, that had to be compressed down. It looked better, and then they compressed it down to yeah. fit on the N64. No, Sprite Art was made on the TV, the same quality, size, and shape of a TV that it would be played on when it was finally released. That's if you read the original... The original, original manual for Super Mario Brothers, it, like, warned you about that? Or they're <laughs> like, this game was designed to be played on the latest technology, but your TV might show some artifacts on the sides or something like that. Zebs has fallen. Zebs or Zebs or Zebes? I heard Zebes, too. Zebes? Yeah, no, <laughs> no one fucking knows how to pronounce yeah. this, this fucking planet. <laughs> so this takes place after Metroid 1. It's a packed fucking timeline let me tell you <laughs> it's a bit crowded. a lot of shit happened in between metroid 1 and metroid 2 it crowded so this is i think you're supposed to presume this happens immediately following metroid 1 that's always after like 10 years of a game series if you look back it's like man this fucker was busy like, there was no downtime. Yeah. They finished one thing and then immediately started doing this other thing. They didn't... She did not take a vacation. Yeah. She was chasing fuckers down. <laughs> Dude, like, I can't... This looks so good. Yeah, it does. I can't get over how incredible this looks. They barely had to do any work. And not only yeah. did they do work, they did... A ridiculous amount of it's work. It's the exact opposite of GTA Definitive Edition. <laughs> exactly. Where this, is like, this looks good for now. Whereas the with the Definitive Edition, the GTA games, it was like, that looks bad for now. For, that and looks bad just, for the GameCube. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, if you just ported the originals, people would be more understanding. Like, yeah, it's an older game and they didn't yeah, remake it. Just, it's just a port. You don't have to, like, do anti-aliasing yeah. to, like, smooth out the edges. I can't fucking stand that yeah, by the way. Again, that's not what it looked like on a CRT. Yeah. A CRT, like, had anti-aliasing built in because of the RGB and how it would, like, kind of smooth out the edges. What sprite art looks like now when you play it on a fucking emulator is not what that game looked like yeah. on a CRT when it first released. And, there are and it's to impossible to replicate. So bad. Yeah. yeah. Their attempts to make that as a filter are so bad. Like, the the the, the weird, like, pixel smoothing. It yeah. looks it's, atrocious. It's Mega I Man. want to vomit. Yeah. It's like, I will take chunky pixel blocks yeah. we all over know that. The game is from the fucking what 80s. The like, what the hell? Oh my gosh. I. This is. 
I'm mad at everyone else. Yeah. What is it? Nintendo is keeps doing that. I can't believe... Like, if you release this and said this is a brand new game yeah, exactly. and paid all of us to shut up <laughs> and not sit... If you release this as Metroid Prime 4, no one would be talking shit. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know any better... Yeah. Like, if you didn't know Metroid Prime existed, you would not think this is a remaster. Yeah, this looks like a new This game. looks like a brand new game. And I... Like... I kind of wish that they at least had an option to go back to the original. Yeah. I think it would be nice to be, like, you know, that met, that uh, Halo anniversary Halo, yeah. to be able to uh, hit select. Woo, hello, buddy. <laughs> uh, that Halo anniversary thing of press select and it just turns off the textures yeah. instantly. I can't believe how, like, how they did that. Yeah, they literally Marvel. just turned, they literally just, like... Re remeshed the entire game on top of the game. Yeah. That game renders once and then <laughs> you hit select and it turns on and off the new graphics. Yeah. That would be nice, but it's also a ridiculous amount of work. Yeah, I was gonna say that's one of those thankless tasks. Jesus Christ. I don't wow. know. I don't know. You know, because in my head. I want to put that hologram in my mouth. In my head, I'm thinking of Metroid Prime on an emulator. Yeah. Like, I'm playing it on Dolphin with Mouse Look. <laughs> that's my most recent memory of the game. Yeah. So maybe that's not fair. I don't know if this game looks better than the original. But I, I wouldn't blame you if you said it does. <laughs> because this is... Ridiculous. Yeah. Everyone else should be ashamed of themselves. Yes. Rockstar should be Absolutely. ashamed For a couple of themselves. Of Ubisoft or whoever and whoever they hired yeah. to make the fucking 13 remaster should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah. The only people who are allowed to not feel ashamed of themselves are Toys for Bob. Because they actually did a really damn good job with the spy. They literally re like traced over that entire game. <laughs> they invented some kind of like rotoscope technology f and played Spyro One on the PS One and like rotoscoped new textures like that, over that entire the game. Stuff that was invented for Peter Jackson's <laughs> yeah, the Get Beatles Back remake, uh, Beatles movie. The quadrilogy. Like they had to invent new ways to refine audio. You know how how often, uh, you know how like, you almost never feel like saying, "Oh, the the," like like they call it the definitive edition. Yeah, that's that, what's shitty about it. The, if you call it the definitive edition, yeah, you are saying fuck every other version. Every never other version. play any other version of this game yeah. ever. Period. This is the only version you need now. Yeah, like this replaces even the original. And that's never true. It's that's never. never true. Even Wind Waker HD. Yeah. Has some weird shit going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially now that they took down Meverse. Yeah. Like the the tingle the tingle bottles in uh, Wind Waker HD literally serve no purpose now. Because yeah. they took down Meverse. Like, that game looks great and all, but, like, there's still reason it's, to play the yeah, original exactly. game over the new version. Like, I'm not saying that there's no reason to ever remake something, but it's like Star Wars. Like, why yeah. do you have to take the away the original? Yeah. Exactly! At least let me watch the original fucking yeah. movie. I don't want to watch the special edition. It's great that that's your Make favorite Make the special version. edition... That's fine. Yeah. No one's saying you're not allowed to do that. You made the fucking movie. Yeah, it's yours. It's your movie it's to. Yours, it's your George. movie to ruin. Yeah. Go ahead. But let me watch the original. Exactly. Like, why do you have to take away the original thing? That doesn't make sense. 
Yeah, like, it's just an arrogance. Even with your own thing, it's such an arrogance to say, like, there, you can't have that anymore. This replaces it. Yeah. Nothing ever replaces it. I shit can't like stand that. that. Yeah. Even, like, the the the, the Resident Evil remakes yeah. are, like, good remakes. <clears throat> Those are games you should remake because they kind of suck. That's the thing. Like, the only <laughs> remake I like is Remake 1, Resident Evil Remake. Yeah. Because Resident Evil 1 was a bad game. Yeah, it's just, like, historical and everything. But Resident Evil 1 it, is straight up a bad bad game. Yeah. Th that's not to say you should destroy the original, but yeah. it's nice that you remade That's the thing. You can still buy Resident Evil 1 exactly. Director's Cut yeah. and play that game. Like, the Remake 1 did not replace. Exactly. It kind of it kind of invalidates it like, yeah, a little bit. from a, like a Oh my oh god! My gosh. What the Jesus. Fuck. And, like, all Be that to say, sharp. I kind of feel like this does replace the original <laughs> Metroid Prime. Like, unless something happens. Unless, you know, there's an 11th hour what the fuck is them that goes down. <laughs> hey. Like, this looks damn good. And it's not even just the graphics, because that's the thing. I hate when you remake something just because, oh, the original yeah, looks old. Exactly. I hate that it shit. It just it flashes back to, again, I keep, Oh, it's old. I keep bringing up the N64 for some reason, but that era of, like, oh, this it's 3D now instead of pixelated. Yeah. So it's automatically better. It's automatically, automatically replaced. Re uh, Castlevania 64 looks so much <laughs> yeah, better exactly. than K Symphony of the Night. Ew, Symphony of yeah, the yeah. Night's in 2D. It has it's in 2D. Gross. Yeah. Play Castlevania 64, that beloved <laughs> gem <laughs> that everyone, everyone lo really, really loves. <laughs> Whoa, my girl! <laughs> um, it's that mindset. All that to say, like, I don't know. Maybe. This is pretty good so far. It's not just the graphics. That's what I was trying to get to. Right. Um, it's not just the graphics. There's so many accessibility options yeah. in this with the controls. Because you go back and play Metroid Prime 1 on the GameCube. Yeah, it controls weird. Yeah. It always controlled weird. It wasn't fine at the time, and then you know we were we didn't know we didn't know any better. Yeah. Like no, it was always a little weird that you. Yeah. Like let me hold on. Let me. Here, this is for you because you're sitting next to me. <laughs> this is just for me. This was always a yeah. little weird. Yeah. This was strange. Should I be Even doing this while we're on a timer? Probably not. <laughs> this was always a little we Even at the time, that was funky. Oh, even the... Even the aiming. Hmm. Yeah, that, that that was never right. That never felt good. Yeah. That so the fact that there's four, four different control options, one of which is the original... Exactly. God, how many fucking remakes yeah. don't even include the original on it? It's just like a cynicism or like something like they're gonna we're gonna re replace yeah, old that. shit's dumb yeah. new shit better like the only thing I would say is it would have been nice if they included an option to toggle not mid game you know <laughs> that can be a that can be a menu option before you start it would have been nice to toggle between the new graphics and the original GameCube graphics but I do understand if that was. If that's maybe too much to ask. Yeah. Because, again, when they did this for the Wii, when they did the Wii uh, Metroid Trilogy version, they had to remove a lot of visuals from that version because the motion controls fucked up a lot of those... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the motion controls straight up broke a lot of the visual visor effects. Yeah. Because they did not design those visual effects to look when you're able to move the screen in whatever direction you want. Yeah. Oh, here it comes. Here he is. Here's our boy. So, for historical preservation purposes, that would have been nice, but I do understand. Yeah. I'm not unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I do think it is reasonable that they didn't add that. 
Look at that water! Yeah, my gosh. Hashtag you bitch. Look at this water! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I sound like such an autist. <laughs> like Dude, that time. water! <laughs> Um, oh, and then another thing that they removed in the, uh, Meta Ridley, in the, the Wii version, is, uh, they took out this cool thing where later in the game, uh, you get, uh, an x-ray visor, and when you have the x-ray visor, you can see Samus's hand in the gun, like, because mm. the gun's on screen, so you can see her hand in the gun when you use the x-ray visor, and they had to remove that. Because they they couldn't make it look good with the motion controls. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I just got drywall. God damn. Ooh, even that looked really good. Uh, oh, I tripped. <laughs> God damn it, Samus. You can't hold on to this fucking... These goddamn upgrades. Oh my god, being able to look up like this. Metroid Prime this is shit. blowing my fucking mind. <laughs> Boundary break. Wow. Shit, I gotta fight this fire. Fucking kudos. I can't believe yeah. the amount... The amount of work that must have got... I really hope they didn't pull anyone out from Retro. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> it was for, off of Metroid Prime 4 to make this. Yeah, it seems like they did. <laughs> Look at how good this looks. That's yeah. great. Look at those corpses! Did you see that? That wasn't debris. Those were bodies! Yeah, they are, yeah. Look at those bodies! Yeah. Oh, that's so funny! Oh, shit, E10+. Plus. Holy shit, that's so great. Rated T for some blood. I should probably share this link. <laughs> Do I think IDW Sonic comic will go downhill? That implies that it was ever uphill. <laughs> uh, you know, it has to be good before it starts getting bad. And, uh, I don't think it was ever good. So, there you go. <laughs> It'll go down valley. Can it keep digging? <laughs> you know, eventually we'll get out of this hole. We just gotta keep digging. <laughs> You'll pop up in the Indian Ocean. <coughs> okay, I gotta see these rain effects. I gotta see these rain effects. Again, bringing it back to GTA Definitive Edition when it was raining in the Oh car. my god! I can't believe how crazy that was. <laughs> The fucking rain in the opening so cutscene. Yeah, the yeah. opening cutscene. I can't get over it, how terrible that fucking was. And it's not better. They didn't fix it. They delisted the other fucking versions. I mean, they had to relist them. After yeah, because everyone was real mad. Yeah, but like everyone you did was that real in the first mad. Place? What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, her suit is like really reflective. Yeah, she and polishes shiny. that bitch. Her, her suit is like so shiny. She got those microfiber and, uh, claws. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you really have to do the pose, Samus? No one's there. <laughs> no one's impressed. Some mush. All right, I'm back. I've arrived. Yeah. <gasps> the rain! Oh, yeah. Yeah! And that actually makes and sense. And her gun! Look at the gun! Yeah. Oh, my and God. And her hand! Oh, oh my shit. God! And when I'm looking down, the raindrops... That the is... water is flowing yeah, it forward is. off... Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? The rain is flowing <laughs> forward off the gun. That's crazy. Because I'm pointing down at the ground. That's Look again, at that. Again, bringing it back to GTA shortcomings. In GTA 4, when that happens, yeah, it's, it's just like, an why? overlay yeah. on top of and the it's texture. Like, but why, though? There isn't a, a camera in game. I can't believe this they went through the trouble yeah. of adding not only a rain effect to the gun and the hand, yeah, look at the water which flowing. were not in the original game. Yeah. But they added the the visual of the rain <coughs> going down the yeah, gun that's crazy. depending on which direction you're pointing the camera in that's so crazy i this is unbelievable yeah we created 
You know what? They charge $40 for this game worth every penny. <laughs> that is insane to me. The amount of... Again, and it's not just visuals. Visuals is just the most readily apparent thing you can look at and immediately notice. Yeah. This control scheme is brand new. This is not based on anything, because the original game didn't have this, and the Wii version worked very differently. <laughs> the Wii version doesn't count. The, the Wii version worked very differently. This is brand new. I can't reach that. I can't do that yet. No, I can't do that. <laughs> this is not the top. Oak's voice. Shot. Oh my god, I gotta do this. Here we go. <gasps> the fish swim away from you. Oh my god! <laughs> Call of Duty Ghosts! Oh god. Call of Duty Ghosts! <laughs> Just bubbles coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Samus is in the lake again. And look, the rain effect stopped because I'm underwater. Yep. That's not just... That's not... Ch I can't even, like, explain, <laughs> like, why that's impressive. Because, yeah, look, that's... You're, you're running around out here and the rain's falling down. You think, okay, they just added some kind of f graphical modifier to the top of the gun yeah. when you're in this area... Like, that's not... These aren't actually real raindrops falling in the <laughs> map. It's a. It's like some kind of filter mm. on the screen. The game checks a flag to see that you're in this area where it's raining, and it adds a filter. But no, look! Yeah. It stops! It, like, it smooths it out because you're no longer in the area where the rain is happening. Yeah, that's crazy. It's, like, so hard to explain why that's impressive. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. Yeah, it's so much extra <laughs> like, work. Yeah, I can't believe how good this looks. Yeah, it's like that, just a sign that they went an extra mile sort of thing. Oh, it's do like, you, like, yeah, you we're all... need to do this. We're, we're all theorizing that the, that IDW's going up and that comic's gonna get fucking cancelled pretty, well, I mean, pretty darn soon. It's not even theorizing at this point. Yeah, I mean, they're IDW's just money, going like, out of fucking business. They're hemorrhaging money and employees. That's not a good And thing. licenses. Yeah. They couldn't keep Stan Sakai. The Yosagi Yojimbo guy. Yeah. They couldn't keep him on. He was there for, like, less than a year. Yeah. Clearly something's going on there. And, and, like, as it's been said, I mean, Sega already made their money on the licensing. Yeah, again, like, <laughs> so... the, 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 blah, 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 the, uh, fucking Jesus, Metroid Prime 3 <laughs> controls, uh, like, they made Metroid Prime 1, 2, and then 3 was on the Wii, and then they made the Metroid Prime Trilogy Edition, which was all three on the Wii, and they took, they, like, retrofitted the motion controls from the third game and put it onto the first two games, but be it was so unbalanced and the graphics couldn't fucking handle it. <laughs> so they had to like drop a lot of features. But similar, I like how they say similar to the Metroid Prime trilogy <laughs> yeah. for the Wii. Because it's not one to one. They had to redo it because the gyro controls for the Switch work completely differently from the Wii U. Uh, the Wii, not the Wii U, uh, the, <laughs> Wii, the Wii Mote motion controls. The Wiimote motion controls use an IR sensor. No. Yeah, it's infrared. Right. <laughs> they use an IR sensor. Uh, the Switch you Oh, I don't have the charge anymore. That's right. Um, the Switch uses gyro. That's built right into the controller. Although I do think it does have an IR sensor built in there also. Here's the best fucking part of this game right here. Oh. And this is optional. First, oh, first time I played this game, I didn't go into this area until significantly later. Who is washing these windows, my dude? Although it is designed uh, for for you. Look at that! Look at that JPEG. <laughs> Dog JPEG. Oh, uh, you have to have this uh, little uh, window window graphics in order to cover that up. <laughs> Oh, don't look at this too long. So, uh, the Chozo lore is the best... Oh, no, this is pirate data. That's right. So, 
so yeah, the space pirates came in and started fucking around. The the story to this game is so fucking incredible, and the way... Oh, that's right, you need the fucking missiles, that's why. <laughs> and the way it's told is so fucking good. This... Fuck Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls, you gotta read the goddamn item descriptions of fucking <laughs> shit. This, it's actually like, what's Metroid about? Exploration. You're a... Give me a sneeze. Oh god. <laughs> You're a single, like, lone mother. individual... Ex <laughs> You're a single mother. You're the other M, in fact. In fact. The, the, the Metroid other M. You're, you're a single, like, explorer-slash-hunter, bounty hunter, exploring this, like, secluded, atmospheric, like, beautifully haunting location. And you're, it's like a, a dead world. And you're exploring through and, like, diegetically discovering this environmental story of what happened here and, like, uncovering the mystery. Even Metroid, well... Not Metroid Run, really, but even Metroid 2 had this deep sense of atmospheric storytelling. Let alone Super Metroid. <laughs> but Metroid Prime was, like, such an incredible game where... The water, like, everything reflecting off the water on the ground looks so nice. Oh, yeah! Wow. Look at that! <laughs> wow. How did they do this? <laughs> Where fucking, um... <laughs> you talk while I collect my thoughts. <laughs> I was just gonna say, it's, it's just one of those things that I look at and go, I have no idea how to do this. Right? Like... <laughs> What is this black magic? This absolute sorcery? That's happened to me when I was on the highway This once. mud! Look at this mud! Yeah. This reflective mud is reflecting the orange vine from there yeah. onto the mud here. That's I insane! Was driving on the, the freeway once and I was like, how the fuck do you build a road? <laughs> like, what's the I first would not step know in building a road? How to start. Like, I'm driving on this, but it's like, there, there's so much expertise that goes into the smallest thing. And that's one of those things where it's like, how the fuck do you do that? I don't even have the first idea. Like, how how would I even go <laughs> about beginning to, like, blueprint this? <laughs> uh, fucking Metroid Prime, like is so much more cinematic and yet it's so subtle and it's all environmental storytelling. Even Metro Prime 2 had like an in-your-face narrative with cutscenes and dialogue boxes. And and not even to mention Metroid Prime 3. But Metro Prime 1 has this intricate and really deep interesting narrative about like First of all, the Chozo were on this planet because they were just fucking all over the goddamn place. <laughs> the Chozo, like, colonized half the fucking galaxy and then went extinct. Spermy motherfuckers. <laughs> where, like, they were on this planet and then they ascended to another level Imagine. of existence. They literally, like, fucking achieved Nirvana or some shit. And then a fucking meteor. With, like, space poison. <laughs> Crash land. Like, 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 because Japan can just never get the fuck over they this. They can't Even the get over it. Oh, my God. Look at her. Even Ooh. though this game was made by Retro Studios, who are not Japanese. <laughs> um, Still like, rubbed a off. fucking, like, radioactive Ooh, bomb of, like, space radiation poisoning crashed into the planet. And it was, like, such a cataclysmic event that it, like rocked the heavens and like brought back the Chozo <laughs> as ghosts if they felt it on Angel Island and it's literally like this this parasite this like eldritchian parasite from <laughs> another world this sentient infection this sentient radiation that is just destroying the planet from the inside out T-Virus. And the Chozo were like, what the fuck's going on? Whoa! Hold on! Excuse. Hold on with that motherfucking shit over here, they said. <laughs> I promise you they said that. And all this shit happens, and it's all told 
through these Chozo lore collectibles. And it's all optional. You have to track these down, and they are a reward for exploration. You explore the game map, and you are rewarded for your exploration with this story being told about what the fuck happened to Talon 4, both with the Chozo and also with the space pirates, when they showed up and started doing their dumb bullshit. <clears throat> so yeah, the Chozo were space hippies, by the way. <laughs> Well, they were sure fucking a lot. It was free love, dude. <laughs> They're birds, my dude. And, like, this is video game storytelling at its absolute best. Or, A, it's optional. <laughs> I don't have to skip through a fucking yeah. cutscene. An unskippable goddamn cutscene. If Seven million you text want. The, the, the story is as involving as you want it to be. If you want to completely ignore the <gasps> Oh. The gun smoke! Smoking. The smoke is back! Smoking sexy style. <laughs> I can't believe it! Smoking sexy style. The gun smoke is one of the things they had to take out of the Wii version! <laughs> The gun smoke. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> um, the, the, the amount of engagement is completely up to the player. If you want to explore, like, the lore of Talon 4 and this, like, interesting backstory about the Chozo and the Space Pirates, it's there for you and it's a reward for exploration. It's literally, like, 100% completion you like there are some lore uh, tablets, like some some lore collectibles that are in rooms you straight up don't need to go in. Like the only reason to go in that room is to get the lore to get the lore uh, scan. What's that music, by the way? <laughs> oh, that's right. It's like when maggots move as one. Recording to log. Recording to log Lady. <laughs> There's dancing going on. Doesn't play for radio. The music in this game is so good. I'm so glad there's a sound test. <laughs> I'm so glad they added a sound test. Wall eyeball vagina. Look at how good that looks. Because this was a cheat in the original game. <laughs> this this didn't actually exist. <laughs> I don't know. This is real. I don't have time to go into explaining why <laughs> that makes sense. Just please take my word for it. <laughs> this would take a little too long to explain. So I hey, buddies. Delicious grape candies. So yeah, like, the first two Chozo lures are kind of unmissable, because they really do want to introduce this idea to you. The Chozo are so fucking interesting. They're like... a benevolent... You say banana. <laughs> a benevolent eldritch species. <laughs> like, you know, like, the weird shit in Lovecraft? <laughs> As opposed to the normal shit in Lovecraft. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then this. Uh, like, this area has its own story. And again, it's all optional within the scanning. Like, literally, the scan visor is like, do you want to engage with the story of this <laughs> game or not? It's like collectibles. And, and that's the other thing is... Uh, Metroid's all about collectibles because you gotta run around the map and get health upgrades and missile upgrades and all this extra shit. And so they made the story a collectible that you get for 100% completion. It's part of, like, the percentage at the end of the game. So yeah, in this area, when you come in, 
Elevated toxicity levels found in tree bark. Scans indicate a poisoned water source within four meters. Spoilers, the poisoned water, <laughs> like the source of the poison, is the boss of this area. And when you kill it, with Vigil, fresh water starts flowing through the environment again. I do think it is a, there is a plant. There is a plant boss later. <laughs> And when you kill it, fresh water starts flowing again, and the description for the tree changes. And it says, like, oh, it's it's healthy now. There's no poison anymore. It's juicy as fuck. Dude, look wow. at this fucking texture. I'm literally just, like, pressing my face <laughs> up to a wall going, Dude, Dude what the fuck look at the doing? texture! No, just the texture the of this wall. The light on this fucking gun Sam's. is, like, blowing my mind. Can you see on the weed lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm, like, so autistic. It is really cool, I it's it, like I said. It's it's one of those things where it's like that's completely unnecessary. Yeah, that's why they do this? You didn't need to do that. The extra no one would have complained. The amount of effort that goes into it. If you didn't do this, no one would have complained. They could yeah. have just dropped the original game, upscaled it, added an anti-aliasing feature to smooth out like the weird graphics that would happen with upscaling a fucking GameCube game, which yeah. was designed for 480p best can uh like crt monitors yeah and upscaling it to 4k like plasma flat screen resolution you could have added some anti-aliasing no they remade this entire fucking game yeah and it looks incredible yeah you don't want to go in there like if you, you see this you don't want to go in this that's damaged it's bad it's that a bad time even if it looked not so great that would have become part of the joke of the game like yeah. Oh, look, a GameCube texture in the Switch game. Yeah, like, oh, this looks like a GameCube game. Yeah, this 20-year-old GameCube game. Yeah. Ugh, like, it would have been funny. Yeah. Because it is a It would have been charming. Yeah. You know, it would have been the charm, but no. What the fuck? Like, this is a new game. They just made a new game instead <laughs> of, and not Prime 4. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This, <laughs> this looks like they just made this. It looks better than uh, the new game they did actually make. Yeah, the Dread. Yeah. Well, Dread Dread cheaped out a lot because uh, it's it's two D. <laughs> yeah. They got to cheat. They did a lot of cheating. But it still is like that did. Yeah, look and and quite oh my god! Good. Now that you mention it, what a cheat that would have been! Just take the textures that yeah. they already made. From fucking, uh, Dread, and just fucking do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, do the same fucking, like, because you can do that. Technology is amazing. You can yeah. just take the graphics from Dread, makes it, like, you'd have to do a couple new models, but you can just take that same engine. Yeah. And use that for the remake. I don't know if maybe maybe they partially that's what they did, but this looks brand new to me. It doesn't look like like how Dread looked. Yeah. If you had told me this is a new game, I believe. It. If I didn't know any better, I would think this is a brand new game. And 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 again, uh, the Halo Anniversary Edition is a great example because. I fucking hate the new graphics in Halo Anniversary Edition. Yeah. It looks awful. It's like... You they, got a nerf chart. They completely took away the artistry yeah. of the original game. Yeah. And the original game, you know, it was a, a launch... T oh my yeah. god. Wow. It was a launch title like, for the Xbox. Original Xbox. Again, yeah. games don't age. Like, yeah. we knew it looked like shit back then. Yeah. But it was still a technical achievement relative to the time. Like, no one thought this looked better than PC games that existed yeah. at the time. Yeah. No one thought this looked better than fucking Quake. But, yeah. like, it was impressive that they could have graphics like that on a, a, a fucking first-person shooter. God help us <laughs> on the fucking console, which you play with a, yeah. a control stick. Yeah. 
Like, it looked blocky and chunky and weird at the time, too. Yeah. But they worked within the technical limitations of the Xbox and made something that took full advantage of the technology available to them at the time. Halo Anniversary Edition's graphics look fucking awful. They just sanded the fingerprints off of them. It's so bad. Like, some of, of, of uh, the levels in Halo Anniversary Edition, like, seriously look like they didn't understand what the original level was yeah, supposed exactly. to be. Yeah. Like, the level with the flood is supposed to be a swamp, and in Halo Anniversary Edition, it's a tropical, like, raining jungle. It is a jungle. Yeah. It is not... Whoa! That's the worst kind of remake, is, like, from someone who obviously didn't understand the source material. Oh, someone great just did a video, <laughs> which I saw recently, um, about the Demon's Souls remake. <laughs> Uh, for the PS5, the PS5 launch title of a fucking 20-year-old PS PS3 <laughs> game. Uh, <laughs> like Nintendo Direct, they're announcing games they made 30 years ago. Demon's Souls. Look up... Demons. The Demon's Souls remake is inferior to the original by Rhoda Tosker. Great screen name. <laughs> Uh, the Demon's Souls remake is inferior to the original. It breaks down everything I'm talking about. We're like, the people making this, A, we're not the people who made the original game. Strike one. <laughs> Red flag right there. Yep. Um, and the people making this did not understand yep. the design intention of the original game. They literally made a like mistake. Yeah. They they made errors. This is not what this area is in the original game. Yeah, ooh, that looks good. It's like that's Yeah, look biblical. at those god rays. Yeah. With the tree like it's got biblical connotations. Oh, it's that Pokémon. <laughs> Honeycomb. Yeah. There is one that's the cherry. There is one. What's that Pokemon where it's, uh, keys? <laughs> ah, shit, there is that one that's keys. keys. There is one that's keys. That's I think just... it's called, uh, Kefala? I think that's Ke just called keys. <laughs> some, it's called something. <laughs> Clussel? Clussy? Clussy? <laughs> <laughs> What's the one that's the key? This looks, this is a good, this good remake. I yeah. like it. In short. This looks really good. It doesn't look like Fortnite fucking mobile games, weird fucking paint job yeah. over the original PS2 yeah, it, yeah. Uh, textures. It doesn't look like finger paint version of the original. It doesn't look like... Or they sanded everything down and smoothed everything out. and. It doesn't look like the Demon's Souls remake where like, oh, pixels, but... No, this, like, they actually fucked up. This isn't what this area <laughs> is. Like, the, the the one to me, like, in, in the Rota Tosker video, the one that's, uh, the example he uses is there's this fucking, like, statue where it's, like, a goofy, dumb anime statue with, like, hair and shit. <laughs> and they just completely changed it in the remake to be a dumb, like, generic Lord of the Rings-looking, yeah. like, King yeah, they thought, oh, I'll make statue. it, I'll fix it. Yeah, I'll I'm gonna fix, exactly. Yep. They think they're fixing it. Yep. I can't fucking stand that the shit. The fucking arrogance of a 24-year-old BFA from the Bay Area. Like, oh, I'm gonna fix, oh, th there's, there's like a, oh a fucking, uh, a fucking, uh, <laughs> can I get a fucking, uh, uh, interview with, like, one of the devs who, like, worked on the, uh, the remake, where he was like, you know, you go back and... You know, it's it's a bad looking game because it's old. Ugh. But when you make a remake, you want to make it look like how you remember it looked. Ugh, our script is like Shakespeare. <laughs> they literally said like we want to make it look like how you remember it looked, and it's like I don't I have remember. to remember how it looked <laughs> yeah. because the game exists <laughs> and I can play it right now, and yeah. I like how it looks. And what do you know? It's identical to how I remember it. The Valley of Defilement is a fucked up looking area <laughs> i don't know what to tell you it's called the valley of defilement yeah 
Yeah, like, once again, it's like, it's like bug fables. Like, every sin every other game of this type commits, this is not doing. Yeah, exactly. Like, Bug Fables is not doing the thing that other, like, fucking Bloodstain, yeah. for example, that did. He's the Halo killer. <laughs> like, other remakes are bad. Yeah. This is well, not again, bad. It's that thing. <laughs> They're, you, gold yeah. star, Luigi wins by doing nothing. It's its penis. It's, Look it's, at it's how like, fucking cool this guy looks. It's like you said... It's not do everything. Everyone else is doing this bad. <laughs> yeah. It's not doing it well. Everyone this else isn't is doing good. It bad everyone thing. else is just bad. Yeah. It shouldn't be so surprising. Because this guy's head, it used to be basically a mirror. It would be completely reflective. They added a texture to it, probably because they couldn't make that look good. <laughs> but like, it still communicates the same thing. I understand the visual intention of this enemy's design. Oh, oh and look, they redid the blood. The Sorry, blood I... used to just be like fucking globs, <laughs> like water textures. Sorry I busted your ass, oh, sack. fuck shit. <laughs> I know you're sensitive about that. I know, I know you have feelings. Morph ball. <clears throat> How does it work, Samus? I swear to God, Samus. Sonic. Metroid predates Sonic, doesn't it? Yeah. Whoop! <laughs> 80... 88? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> what purpose does that serve? You had to code that! You had to code a flag for that! Someone had to write that! <laughs> God damn it. You had to do so much work. Oh my god, I love Metroid Prime. This game kicks so much ass. The first one's still the best one. How crazy is that? I know a lot of people like Echoes, uh, Metroid Prime 2. Metroid Prime 2 is very good. Ne I'm never, you will never catch me <laughs> sitting here and telling you the sweet, sweet lie that Metroid Prime 2 <laughs> is not an incredible game. But... I do. I, I simply prefer the original. In a hundred years, I will never tell you that Metroid Prime 2 was not a good game. I think we all kind of agree that Metroid Prime 3 had some problems. It was, <laughs> however, a Game Boy exclusive. <laughs> That's its first problem. Metroid Prime, uh. Oh, oh, yeah. Met the original Metroid. The original <laughs> Metroid 2. <laughs> Uh, Metroid 87. Prime 3 had some weird shit going on. I think we can all agree that Metroid Prime 3 had some weird shit going on. Some weird crap and shit. Man. I can't... Yeah. Like, everyone else... What are you doing? It's just like the Mario What movie. is everyone else doing? Here's the poison water source. It's like, what are you talking about? The... The, oh, the Mario movie is so great because it's actually going to follow the lore of the stories. Why isn't that something we all yeah. expect? Yeah, why, why is that unique? Why is that noteworthy? Why don't that we, shouldn't be praiseworthy. Why do we have to be surprised by that? It's like, yeah, they're, they're not doing it well. Everyone else is doing it bad. So this whole area does a great little thing where you think... <coughs> oh, God. It's setting up this idea that, like, they're talking about the toxin. <clears throat> the negative energy that the meteor brought, the great poison. And then where are we? In this area where the water's been poisoned. Oh my god, they added ripples! Oh my god. Really what the extensive. fuck is this game? Yeah, Look, wow. the light is reflecting! Why don't you take a glass of that thing? From the, en from the enemy! Holy shit. Jesus Christ, this game. Look, really and good. like they, the, the the original game had like bubbles like that, little gassy steam like that. But look at how good that looks. Yeah, and like the the little wave like travels the whole. Oh my god, I can't. I'm trying to talk about other shit. God damn it! <laughs> so you you see like these lore where it's talking about the great poison, and you're in this area that where it's poison water, and you think like the like the enemy, the the meteor. We gotta seal this away until, like, the, the planet can heal. And then, like, this whole area is building up to this boss encounter with the, the plant the plant boss. 
I forget what its name is. <laughs> oh, this, this area... Was it this area or another area? Another area would play a trick on you. Where uh, there's enemies that are the glowing light bullies. But if you kill them, the room becomes too dark and you can't fucking see anything. So you need to allow the glowing light boys to survive. <laughs> wow. Insane how good this looks. <laughs> yeah, shit, that lighting. Uh, yep. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. Girl, oh my god, look at that! You gotta hydrate. You're losing moist. Look at the precipitation! Is like yeah. moving. Yeah. I can't progress because I keep going. Look at how good this fucking <laughs> game looks. Holy shit! It's the best looking game like so far this year, and it's a remake. This is the best looking game on the Switch. <laughs> um. So you, you like, go, uh, it, it, this whole area builds up to this boss against the, the plant enemy, and then you kill it, and then it purifies the water. It makes the poison of the water go away, and all of this becomes regular water. All of the scan descriptions for the trees change to say, you fixed it. But then, you get access to the meteor crater, the impact core, uh... The impact crater, whatever it's fucking called, <laughs> and you find out, oh, that wasn't the great poison. That's the fat guy. It like it like subverts your expectation. It builds up this area talking about the great poison, and you think the great poison is the plant boss, but then you kill the plant boss, and it's like, nah, son. Nah. They didn't even give a shit about the plant boss. The great poison <laughs> is the phase on. Um, in Metroid Prime, in the in the fucking Impact Core Look at that of the planet, great time. it's fucking so good. I love this game. <laughs> it's got an eyeball. Get fucked. It's that shoot me in my glowing fuck me light. Please. Yeah, it's like that Capcom <laughs> thing of everything has bulging eye sacks where it, that's the weak point. <laughs> I'm like on autopilot. I'm not even explaining the puzzle, and I'm already doing it. Yeah, overwhelming toxin levels have rotted all the leaves. The that changes after you uh like beat the boss of the area. Yeah. Excuse. 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 Oh my god, that was really obvious. Whoop, and now whoop, you are I'm dying gonna die, really I'm hard. Die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> You, you got spooked by your own reflection, Sam. I have. She jumped. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like a squirrel. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's, oh it's, there's it's, another squirrel. He's me. He's me. <laughs> he's nice. No, he's nice. He's he's a, he's friend. <laughs> Boom, baby! God, I love that. That is really. I cool. love this game. I love this job. Wow. This is fucking with my brain. <laughs> it's like Sonic in mirror mode. I'm gonna go ahead and opt out there. We're gonna look at some extras <laughs> and then that'll be that. <laughs> Everyone else commits seppuku. Did they just commit? Everyone else commits sudoku because you're fucking <laughs> embarrassing. Three. Every other remaster, yeah. every other remake is a fucking atrocious crime. Yep. What is the point? Yep. What is who was this done in house? Who did this? Was this a Nintendo or was this retro? Or did it's hard to say. I didn't see another credit. No, it was just Nintendo and retro. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this again real quick. You're losing red blood cells there. That that these loading screens are brand new. Yeah. Absolutely incredible job. They could have charged sixty dollars for this. Chosen no one would ruins. Hey, you would never <laughs> What? Know. That's so weird. You could have charged they could have charged sixty fucking dollars for this and no one would have complained. She's got her tit chevron, she's ready to go. 
And I even think about it, like this has to run undocked too. Yeah. Was this done in house by Nintendo and Retro? That's crazy. I'm so curious who did who made this? Who made this Same game? Same as herself. Crazy. Oh, perfect time for the stream to die. Oh yeah. So they literally they pulled a now go yeah. play it. Go play it now. It's here now, bitch. That is a nice thing that Nintendo knows. Of all the shitty things they do, yeah, like, especially in directs, that was a nice thing. Available now, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, the absolute bastards. <laughs> that w one of her tits is less than the other tits. Wow. They were proud. <laughs> they were proud of what they did here. They're injured. Literally, like, look at it. Yep. Look at it. Look at the model we made. Yep. <laughs> so cool. What the basis for unlocking these things is. And they included a concept art for the original game, too. Yeah. This is all the original. I love, you know me, I love concept art. I do know you. Yeah, it's that thing you just looked up. Crazy. Let's touch the power button. Everyone else commits Sudoku because yeah. you're not doing as good a job as Nintendo of all goddamn people. Of all people. Embarrassing. Yeah. How embarrassing. Feast on your own tears. Even the title screen looks good. Yeah. How did this happen? Metroid Prime Remastered. How did this happen? Yeah, what? <laughs> Are they going to do the other two? <laughs> Instead of the four, <laughs> instead of four, uh, we're canceling Metroid Prime Four. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and make the other two. We know you'll love this instead. The other Don't two lie. remasters instead. <laughs> like, oh, you'll like it. You'll eat it and you'll like it. Yeah, you know, shut the fuck up. You want it? You want it? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done now. That was Metroid. Ow, shit, my arm hurts. Catholic 